What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video today. I am pretty excited because I'm gonna be sharing this with you, which is YouTube officially bans life-threatening pranks and stunts. If you guys know anything about YouTube, if you guys seen the trends over the past little while, there's been a lot of dangerous stuff trending on YouTube. And for somebody that is a small YouTuber like myself, I do see how it affects us along with anybody that's on YouTube, I see the aftermath of these dangerous stunts. And I agree with YouTube officially banning them. I think it should have been done a long time ago. The fact that they're doing it though, I'm, some, I'm extremely supporting them on this decision. I'm happy that they are doing it because it is gonna be bettering the platform as a whole. If you guys didn't know, uh, this was the one that hit the news the most, which was the Tide Pod Challenge. That was extremely dangerous. You guys know the Tide Pods, the detergent pods you put in your laundry. People were eating that. That was the biggest one that trended last year. And YouTube uh, banned that. Whenever videos would get uploaded, they officially took that off. They'd take them down right away. Good for them for doing that, but I don't get why people would do that. It's a chemical. It's not meant to be eaten. The other one is the fire challenge, which I didn't even hear about until reading this article, which people were, for a challenge, literally lighting themselves on fire. Like, what the hell? There was the Kiki challenge, which was basically a dancing to Drake's, a uh, part of Drake, one of Drake's songs. Uh, and it resulted and escalated to the point of people were getting out of a moving vehicle when they were the driver and doing it. And it had a lot of accidents. A lot of people got hit by oncoming vehicles. Just really ridiculous stuff that I can't believe people did it. And then currently, or sorry, the most recent is the dangerous Bird Box challenges, which Bird Box um, was, I guess, a movie on Netflix that came out not too long ago. And in the movie, or parts of it, I didn't see the movie yet, but apparently people have to do things blindfolded. Um, don't get that really. But that turned into a, the Bird Box challenge where people have to do things and tasks blindfolded. And again, these challenges people seem to one up all the time or at least want to and it resulted in people driving blindfolded and it literally had one team I, I can't remember where it is I'm going to try to read part of this article in a minute here for you guys but one teen was in a hospital uh, severely injured because she was driving blindfolded and that officially came from the police that's something that came a quote straight from a police officer that was there why people would do this, I don't know. Even Netflix has come out on record to say, please uh, don't do anything like this. It was a movie. Don't emulate, em emulate things. And to me, I don't get why people would do this. And escalate it that far to driving blindfolded. I could see walking around your house blindfolded or having to do small tasks blindfolded. I get that. That's family friendly in a way. But doing stuff that are more extreme, like, uh, I don't know, crossing a road or driving blindfolded, don't get that. I don't uh, condone that. And I'm glad that YouTube is stepping up and taking that stuff down because it's going to help us out. As you guys know, in January 2018, Logan Paul, uh, with the whole suicide um, over in um, Japan, the suicide park or forest or whatever it's called, that was something that was really big and that affected YouTubers. And the more and more challenges like this that come out, it's affecting us a lot more. And the fact that YouTube is now cracking down on that, I'm extremely happy, but let's check out this article. I'm gonna read part of it, so let's check it out. So the article says, YouTube has long had a policy banning harmful and dangerous content, but now it has explicitly told users that prank or challenge videos that could lead to death or serious injury are officially off limits. The reason they are making this change and they're updating their, the reason they are making these changes is because of challenges like the Tide Pod Challenge, which I just mentioned, the Fire Challenge, the Bird Box Challenge, and the Kiki Challenges. So it seems to be like a new thing that a challenge will come out and everybody tries to one up it. YouTube is finally cracking down on that, which I'm extremely happy that they are doing that. Challenges that present an apparent risk of death are not allowed on YouTube. That ban extends to pranks that lead victims to believe that they are in physical danger or that can cause real physical harm. 
like a home invasion prank or a simulating of a drive-by shooting. So it's not only challenges that they're going at, but they are full on going for anything that could be extremely dangerous, gory, accidents, stuff like that, pranks that are not appropriate in my words. Home invasion pranks, those are kind of stupid. Like I know years ago with Call of Duty, people they were calling it swatting, which one gamer would call the SWAT team on another gamer. Stuff like that is so stupid and it shouldn't be on YouTube at all. So I'm happy they're taking that down. Simulating drive-by shooting, I've never heard of that before. I've never seen anything like that on YouTube. Then again, I'm not searching stuff like that. So the fact that YouTube has taken that stuff down as well, I think is a really good thing. In addition, YouTube has specifically said that content featuring a child participating in dangerous challenges uh, and stuff like that is not allowed 100%. It will be taken down. It's likely that if you have children participating in dangerous challenges or pranks that you could be banned from YouTube, not just have that video taken down, but if you have children participating in dangerous stuff on your videos, on your channel, your channel could be in jeopardy as well. So earlier this month, Netflix issued a warning about people engaging in the bird box challenge. And it has a quote here, can't believe I have to say this, but please do not hurt yourselves with the bird box challenge. That was a quote that came straight from Netflix on January 2nd in a tweet. Uh, we don't know how this started, to me, they are taking responsibility because it has started because of a movie, but in my opinion, they're not blaming themselves. They're just saying, enjoy the movie as a movie, but don't go further with it and potentially injure yourselves, which I think is amazing that Netflix did that. I wouldn't have expected that, but because it's getting so much hype right now, that's the reason they made an official statement about it. I think is very appropriate and I'm happy to see that. A YouTube rep clarified that bird box challenges aren't categorically banned on the platform as long as they, as long as the videos comply with the stated policy. So if you are doing the bird box challenges or any challenges that are in the future that uh, come trending on YouTube, as long as they are safe, uh, basically they're saying here that the bird box challenges, if they are dangerous stunts like driving blindfolded or anything else that is dangerous or could result in injury, that stuff is banned off YouTube. But if you take something like the bird box challenge and you do it safely, like I mentioned before, and you do small tasks to see if you can do them blindfolded, that stuff is 100% allowed. So they're not just banning challenges like this, but if you do them in a safe way, not escalating them, you can do that. But I think that's going to be a fine line they're going to be uh, testing there. There's going to be people that are going to be testing that limit of what is and isn't allowed. YouTube said violations of the ban on dangerous pranks and challenges will result in a community strike, which is something that nobody wants on their channel. Um, accounts that receive three strike in 90 days will be terminated under the policy. It's not worth the risk of losing your channels just because you made some videos that you thought were funny but are dangerous. So that's just my opinion there. So they're basically saying safe pranks are okay. Pranks like that are allowed, but whenever it crosses that line of being a dangerous prank or challenge and resulting in injury or potentially resulting in injury, that's when they have a problem with it, which I 100% agree. I think all that stuff shouldn't be on YouTube. If it's injuries and stuff like that, should not be allowed. The one thing that I'm curious as if this policy is going to include is, and I'm sure if you've seen videos like this before, at least on Facebook or somewhere, and that is the risk takers, the extremists that climb a skyscraper and they walk the edge and the camera is panning down. I wonder if they're going to be included in this because that is, in my opinion, the only dangerous style of video that I enjoy watching just because it's very curious. It gives the viewers the thrill of actually doing it because you can see what the person is seeing. You can see what the person is experiencing. I like those videos where they are doing parkour on the top of a really big skyscraper and stuff like that. I enjoy that. But again, that is very dangerous and it has resulted in deaths in the past, but those people are going to do that regardless of if it's allowed on YouTube or not. 
So I wonder if it's going to be in these new guidelines. If it is, that'd be something interesting to see uh, what happens there. But those thrill seekers do love making videos like that. A lot of people do like watching them. It's not as bad as dangerous pranks and challenges, in my opinion, because I don't know, to me, I think it's completely different. But comment down below what you guys think. I am going to leave this video here. Also, comment down below what you guys think of YouTube banning dangerous stunts and that. Are you with the decision to make these bans? Do you make videos like this on your YouTube? Are you against what YouTube is doing here and banning all the dangerous and physically harming videos? I know I am, but I want to hear what you guys think. I am going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.